Hey, welcome back, you bloody legends. It's Aussie Gamer 17 with part two of my 100% walkthrough for the Callisto Protocol. Now, I got so excited at the end of part one just to be playing a new game and doing a new guide for all you guys that I forgot that um, the manual saves don't actually save where you are. They take you back to the last auto save or the last checkpoint, which was just back here. And if we climb through this vent, I'll take you to where we ended the last video. So if you load back where I from where I was at the end of the last video, you'll end up the other side of this vent, back where we just were. Then you climb through the vent, wait for the robot to move, hop down, make sure you crouch. And then that robot's not going to move until we go past behind it. So do that. So there he is there. And we just go straight across. Then turn right. And then what you want to do is sit in behind... Is it this one? Yeah, stay here. He'll come over. Weapon systems online. He will one-shot kill us if we get seen, guys. So that's not a good idea. I've tested that out <laughs> a couple of times. Um, all right, once he moves on, we move on through this door. Scanning for active core signatures. And you can go straight over to this um, panel here to open the next door. Apparently the uh, robot can't hear, which is handy for us. Open the door, go through, stay crouched. Just sort of stay, don't get ahead of him. Stay low, yep, stay low, stay behind him. Hide in behind here. Wait for him again. When he moves on, we move on. Through the next door. Now here, just wait for him. Creep out a little bit, but wait for him to go off that way. Yep, wait for him to go off that way. And then head across the hall and get another um, health injector over here on the wall. And once you have that, you can head left, and we're going to sprint now because he's far enough away. Sprint all the way to the end for our next collectible. Dr. Caitlin Marla. I was going to say, I didn't know how to pronounce it. Looks like a minute He's authorized me to restart the program. It won't be easy, but I trust in my team. They, as I, understand the promise here. The opportunity that lies ahead. And then we're going to go back the way we came. We don't have to worry about the robot anymore. It's back the way we came, past where we got the health injector and in the next door on the left. And once you go through here, guys, um, do a little save or something if you want. Um, this chest right here, um, pause the video now if you don't want a spoiler, but opening that um, just... Uh, you don't get anything for opening it other than a little bug monster thingy um, attacks you and yeah so I'm not going to be opening that alright then move on grab that fuse off the wall go up the steps around the follow the corridor around and then we've got to place the fuse over here to continue on follow through here we're going to have an enemy come out of this fire so dodge 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 oh he only did one attack. Oh, he grabbed me, so mash the wire button. Mash, mash, mash. And dodge. Could have attacked him after throwing him off. I forgot about that. Trying to do commentary at the same time. Is he, I can't tell if he was missing an arm or not. I couldn't see. Anyway. Make sure he pays his taxes. Give him up. And so I think we must have taken a little tiny bit of damage when he grabbed us. And that's why we picked up health instead of credits. So we'll keep going. So once he's dealt with, grab his taxes and then follow through to the door at the end. Down the steps and through another door. In here, you'll also have health pickups in these two drawers. So here... See, we've got full health now, and then over here there's another drawer. Full health, so we don't need it. For it is only through change that we grow. That we become the best version of ourselves. I just realized I don't have subtitles on. Give me a sec. Did 
Don't know what happened to that. There we go. Sorry about that. I mustn't have had that on for the first video either. I had it on on my other account, but that's no good because I don't record that account. <laughs> oh well. All right, then once you've listened to that, if you want to listen to it, climb through the vent and then go straight ahead and up through another vent or up over this ledge or whatever you want to call it. It's getting worse out here. Where are you? Turn left and up into another vent. Still looking for that weapons locker. Okay, you're getting close. Just keep moving. Now this next room, guys, there's going to be two enemies. You can actually dodge them and then run past them and into the next vent, but I'm going to fight them so that we can get their goodies that they drop. Make sure they pay their taxes. So go through here. Stand up. And then let the enemies sort of come to us. And we'll be dodging and attacking just like normal. Miss me. Miss me. Oops, I stuffed up the timing on that one. Haha, <laughs> you've only got one arm left. Alright, one down. Now yeah, the other one's gonna run away. Yeah, that happens. Forgot about that. Alright, and I took some damage, so he's probably gonna drop. Oh no, still just dropped credits. We'll be alright with this health or lack of. Now you can just dodge both of them and then run up into this vent. If you want to do that, you don't want to take damage like I did. And then here we're going to get a little cut scene. I think I'm already in it. Yeah, that might be something. Now I haven't seen... Jacob, you find anything? The lockup had already been raided. All that's left is this baton. Stun baton, yeah. Those things do pack a punch, though. And we are going to need it. Alright, so we've got a new weapon. Never understood why he drops the other weapon. Listen, you're almost to the watchtower. I had to sneak through, but it's empty now, so you should be good. I'll meet All right. you on the other side. Now we have to interact with this um, computer over here, and then once we do, an enemy's gonna pop out over there. So we're gonna interact with this and then go take care of him. So just be ready. Alright, press right trigger to get your weapon ready. We're gonna dodge, dodge. And then take care of him. Oh, no fair. You can whack him into these spikes usually. There we go. And then give him another whack. Whack him. To make sure. He pays his taxes. Alright. I've still got some damage to me, don't I? Oh well. Continuing on. In practice runs, I don't take any damage. What's going on? It's the curse of the recording. Alright. Follow the path. You've got to crouch to get under here. Go left. Run through to the end and through the door at the end. Turn right and go through another door. Okay, once we're out in this section, you get a little checkpoint there. There's a uh, health thing on the wall here. And then up this end, we're going to have three enemies to fight, guys. It is possible to run past them, but we want um, a collectible in this area. So we're going to have to fight these three enemies. So what I do is walk, see this line here, sort of up in front of us, near that doorway. Just sort of stop around here. Wait for this guy. And take him out. He's got one arm left, so we can, uh, he only does one hit at a time. There we go. Now this guy's gonna come. There might be a guy coming from behind us too, so just be holding on the dodge button. There we go. I'm dodging. Ah, uh, can't get me. Just keep dodging. I'm dodging. There we go, one down, or two down actually. 
And now that it's one-on-one, -on -one, we should be fine. He's only got one arm left. There we go. All right, now, very important. Make sure they all pay their taxes. One there. Just had a robot talking in the background. Pay your taxes. I'm surprised I'm not getting health pickups. No, no health pickups. That's fine. Once you've got all their taxes, jump over the little platform here. Immediately go to your right. This is Elias's um, cell, and we've got his collectible here. This new warden. I can't figure him out. There's been more changes in months than Black Iron seen in decades. Still, whatever's going on, could finally be my chance. He was ready, all right. All right. Out of the cell, across the way, and up the steps, or stairs. And then left. And across the bridge. And finally up into the control room by pressing this button here. Oh, I'm excited to see this next little cutscene, too. Spoiler alert, there's a cutscene coming up. Don't mind me, don't know where I'm looking. Alright, head this way. Get a little checkpoint here. Game's gonna tell us to sneak. You actually don't need to, but let's do it just for uh, immersive purposes. So we're sneaking past this dude over here. And we're gonna hit this button here. And cutscene! I wanna see this. What was that? Ah. Ah. You get in here. You think I got time for this shit? Okay. Okay. Let me see if I got this straight. Uh, you crash here. And then this whole place goes to shit. Oh, five, two, one. Look at me when I'm talking to you. What'd you do? Huh? You can tell me. Are you different? Are you special? Why the warden? Why you I wish I knew, buddy. <laughs> I told you. Oh, we're gonna shiv him? It's all yours. Okay, so in this little thing that's about to play, we actually oh, tell Elias that he's dead. And so is Ferris. What you mean? He was there. And those things killed him. Well, we don't know that he's dead, though. You're... He could have survived that. Just keep going now. I found a safe room up ahead. All right, and that's exactly what we're going to do. So move forward, open the door, forward, through another door. Oh, I forgot to check if you could... I've never checked if there's any bodies in there that you can get taxes off, but I don't think there is. Let me know in the comments down below. Anyway, move all the way forward till you get to this big door. And that moves us on to the next chapter. Alright, so here at the start of what? Aftermath? Aftermath? Math? Oh. Necessity. To do what is required. We've already seen this. Oh, you might see an edit in there, guys. I'm just going to go past this. I had to sneeze in the middle of that, so sorry about that. Um, locate Elias in security. All right, so run down the stairs. Nothing you can do in this room. That robot's already dead. Once we open this door, there's going to be an enemy straight away. So let's get ready for him. He's going to try and ambush us, so just open the door, then hold dodge. Miss me. Still got two arms, so be ready for... All right, now he's only got one arm, so he can only hit once. And down he goes, and pay your taxes. All right, so now we got our health filled up, which is annoying, because there's actually a health pick up through here. So go through the door, then sort of straight ahead, and you have to shimmy through this access hole here.
Uh-oh. 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 <laughs> there we go. Oh, oh, get him. Oh, that'll do. Good work, Elias. Just <laughs> gotta get out of here, eh? Hey, bruv. Alright, as soon as you're back in control, there is health over here in a drawer or a cabinet. Oh, I still needed some. Okay, that's good. Grab some health there. Then head over the other side. Open up these four lockers and get four lots of credits, hopefully. Hang on a minute. I'll be a minute. And then you come over here and you smash these two cabinets. Smash the glass. And pick up usually another four lots of credits. I think one of them was health, though, for me. So now we've got full health, at least. All right, so grab all those credits and then go through this little gap. Yeah, we can. And that's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to get a couple of achievements over here. Uh, first, though, we're going to sell everything we've got. So head over. This thing's called a reforge. And that's where you sort of buy and sell upgrades and um, inventory and stuff like that. So we're going to go RB across to sell. And we're going to sell everything. We don't need our health injectors if, if you're following along. We've already got full health, so we're going to sell them all, make some money. Sell, sell, sell. All right, so... Uh, and then we're going to back out of there and then open this chest off to our right. Pick up everything out of there, and then we're going to go back to the reforge. Back across to sell, sell the energy converter again. Sell the health injector. 1855. I think that's exactly how much I had on my last practice run. That's crazy. Um, and then we're going to go across to buy. And we're going to buy the hand cannon. Not to be confused with the hand cannon from my last walkthrough for dead space. Uh, it does not go bang bang. <laughs> so buy that. Get the achievement for that. There it is. Paper jams. Funniest thing is at work yesterday I actually had a paper jam in a printer. That's crazy. Alright, so we get a little scene for getting that. If we're gonna get out of here, we need a ship, one that you can fly. Now I found an inmate with the skills to hack the network and call one down from orbit. Bad news is they're in the shoe. Maximum security. It'd be fucking tough getting in there. That's probably good news, mate, because then that means well, they're alone yeah. and not dead. Yeah, ever since I got it. Yeah, they can scramble your brains a little bit. Don't worry, you get used to it. Yeah, you sure know a lot about this place. Yeah, I've had nothing but time. Okay, so what's next? The shoe? Can we just waltz our way in there? No, I wish we could. It's not gonna be that easy, bruv. Look, I've been here a long time. I've got privileges that you don't. So I'm gonna have to take you a different way. But I'll be your eyes and ears and I'll guide you along. All right, don't you leave me hanging. I've got you. Unless you know I'm a pilot. No, I'm afraid not. All right, I'll get that door for you. All right, but before we uh, continue on, we're gonna go back to the Reforge. And we're gonna upgrade our stun baton. Uh, I like to go for the increased velocity alloy sheath. Uh, I mean, it really just can make our combo better, I think. So let's just buy that if you've got enough. That it only costs 300. We've got over a thousand. So let's buy that. I'll try and keep all the upgrades and things I do. There's another achievement for that. Reforged. Print a weapon upgrade. So I'll try and make sure that you guys, if you're following along, are going to have... Um, I'm always going to have money left over in case you guys didn't get as much because some of the... Um, similar to Dead Space, some of the pickups are random and stuff like that. So I'm going to... Even though... Oh, we don't have enough for that anyway. Um, yeah, but I've got 755 left over. You should have enough to at least buy the same upgrade that I did. All right, once we've done that, we go out this way and we'll get a little tutorial thing pop up on screen now this is when we're doing melee we can automatically get like a type of headshot uh, we may do that in the very next fight and obviously you could have sold your bullets as well if you need more money um, I normally do sell the bullets I'm just hanging on to them we're gonna sell a lot of our health and ammo in order to do upgrades guys alright guys and if we move forward there should have been a checkpoint just here let me just double check 
Oh yeah, it was 13 seconds ago. So I'm going to end the video here, guys. Um, you can watch what's going on down there. Um, actually, it's important that you do. That monster kills the normal, or kills the prison guard or whatever it was. And then he reanimates, let's say. And now he's our next enemy. But that is coming up right now. Okay, we're going to have to do it right now. I was going to end the video, but we'll do it here. I must have walked too far forward. And that was doing the thing that we just learnt, but I kind of stuffed it up. Because I'm trying to, I was going to commentate on how to do it. And then you don't have enough time to actually do it. So let's take care of him. Stompy, stompy. And get his ammo. Now I have to play through to the next checkpoint. We'll play through to the next checkpoint and then end the video. Yes, sir. I think we just go down an elevator and then there'll be a uh, checkpoint anyway. So round to the left. Through the door. And down the elevator. Now it says we're going for medical. Isn't that where the robot went, guys? I don't want to be doing that, do I? Alright, down the elevator. Through the door. Game, give me a checkpoint. There it is. There's the checkpoint. I'm going to do a manual save just in case. I don't know why. I just feel safer doing that, guys. That is going to be the end of this video. Uh, I'll join you right here at the start of part three. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you're enjoying it. If you are, give us a thumbs up and post a comment. Those two things really help out the channel and help my videos get more views and get seen, which really is the uh, the cost-free way to help support the channel, guys. So please comment and like, and of course, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. There's other ways to support. You can check out com uh, the uh, description for more ways to support the channel. There's the bell. You know what that means. Class dismissed. <laughs>